I am so excited to be recording this video because out of all the videos I've ever recorded, out of all the things that my team and I have ever worked on trying to help folks like you, folks that are in the market for a heating and air system, all the things we've ever done, this video, I'm about to roll out something that I think is going to help so many folks. So I'm gonna talk later in this video what that is, but before I get to that, let me preface it with this. Out of all the videos we've done, and all the, the problems we've seen in our industry, there's one underlying problem that I see probably on almost every single installation, every single replacement. Every time we help somebody on our website, newhvacguide.com, through the process of buying a heating and air system, it's always this one thing, and that is the sizing of the HVAC system. And no matter how many people I help, I was just helping somebody the other night on our website, and it was almost like a little bit of pushback. I was telling them, you really need to get a load calculation. And he's like, well, yeah, but you know, I called these companies and we went through this and that. And, and I was like, yeah, I, I hear you, but you really probably should start with a load calculation. And he's like, well, yeah, but I did some dabbling and I, I did some math myself and I went on a few different websites and I said, yeah, yeah, I, I hear you, but you really should probably do a load calculation. And so the load calculation, sizing that system properly, we've talked about it in other videos. I did a video talking about the three biggest calculations that are missed when homeowners are replacing that HVAC system. And this is probably the one at the top. It's probably the first thing you should do if you're going to get quotes for a new HVAC system, but unfortunately, because contractors do the th things they do and because homeowners are gathering quotes and it's just kind of the nature of the beast, then sometimes it's not the very first thing that's done. And in fact, I've talked to other contractors that will say, well, listen, we'll sell the job. We still do everything right, but we'll sell the job first before we do the load calculation because it's kind of a waste of time. I, I actually see it from the contractor's point of view. I'm not in that game anymore. We sold our company, but I see when contractors will sell the job, do the load calculation moving forward and make sure everything is right. I kind of get that. But you as the homeowner, if you're gathering quotes, that's kind of backwards. That's like saying you're going to pay more for a car, right? You're going to gather quotes and you're going to look at all these different cars and decide which one you're going to buy and then decide now that I'm paying for the car, I've, I've now committed to paying this amount of money. Let me pick which motor I want to be in the car, right? It's a little backwards there. If you were able to get the load calculation, know what size system that you need, among other things, that way when you go gathering quotes from all those contractors, you're able to compare apples to apples. They're all going to give you the same size because you're going to share with them, hey, I've had a proper load calculation done here. You're not going to be quoting me something and then another guy quoting me something else. You're all going to quote the same thing. Give me your best price. And the last thing I'll say on on this before we get to the bit of news I want to share with you is that I hear homeowners say all the time if they're buying a new system to replace the one that's in their home, well, it was probably done when the house was built. I would assume that, right? And I would say to them, you would assume wrong. In fact, today, today while you're watching this video, there are homes being built today that are still not getting the proper load calculations done and the proper sizing done across the board whether we're talking about the ductwork, the HVAC system, or anything else. It's still to this day not being done properly. And so my message to you, if you see this video, is now we have a way. We have a way. If you can't tell, I'm a little excited. We have a way for you to finally put things in order and get that load calculation done right from the get-go. And here's how we're doing it. We have found the right company. We've been able to partner with the right company. And I'm gonna put a link down in the description of this video. And what you'll do is you'll simply click that link, put your info in there, and the company will call you. And they're gonna need some information from you to be able to do this correctly. But again, this is hopefully going to empower you as the homeowner gathering quotes, putting the cart before the horse, being able to actually do things in the proper order here. The whole goal of this entire video, the entire process, if you will, is to hopefully help you avoid all those problems, all those people I help on the website, all those horror stories that we've all heard. There's YouTube videos on this exact topic, not even the ones I've done. There's people across the board that know this is a huge problem in our industry. You won't be one of them. You will be one of the folks that 
that there are no horror stories, that you at least started out the process on the right foot. So click that link in the description of this video, put your information in, we'll get you in touch with the right folks, we'll get that proper calculation done. And the last thing I'll say in this video is this, whether you yourself need a load calculation done at all, whether you yourself are going to click that link down below, let's help more folks hear this message than ever before. If you could at least hit that like button on this video, and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel if our content helps you at all, but clicking those two things, especially that like button, maybe even leaving us a little comment helps that algorithm helps more people see this and helps more folks get this done right. And I hope it helps. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where we talk about the five reasons HVAC has gotten so expensive. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.